Reading, understanding, and accepting the HPC Acceptable Use Policy is a requirement for running your applications on the HPC resources. You can find the AUP by going to the HPC website, clicking Get Access, and scrolling to the bottom of the page. To understand the HPC Acceptable Use Policy, you must understand that the HENRY2 cluster is a shared cluster. The resources are shared. The essence of the acceptable use policy is simply this, play nice with others. So what are the rules of the game when playing with others on HPC? Well, there are basically two fundamental rules. The first is do not run on a login node. And the second is make efficient use of resources. Let's backtrack. What is a login node? A cluster is basically a bunch of computers that are attached to each other, and the nodes are divided up into login nodes and compute nodes. The vast majority of nodes make up what we call the compute nodes, and they are the nodes you compute with. A handful of other nodes are called login nodes, and they are the nodes you log into. A login node is accessed through the campus network using SSH protocol. Compute nodes are accessed from a login node via the job scheduler LSF. There are over a thousand compute nodes. When a user submits a job through LSF, compute resources are reserved for that job. In contrast, there are only four shared login nodes. Any number of users may access these login nodes simultaneously at any given time. Do you ever notice that your laptop runs slow? when too many apps are running in the background? Or how slow a file transfer goes when you try to do several at once? Now try to imagine a dozen users doing that all at once, all on the same computer. When you run programs on a login node, it does affect other users. So in other words, please play nice. Let's recap basic rule one of the acceptable use policy. Do not run on a login node. The purpose of a login node is to provide access to the cluster via SSH and to prepare for submitting a job to LSF. Processes that use a non-trivial amount of compute or memory resources must be run on a compute node. Processes found running on login nodes using significant CPU or memory resources will be terminated without notice. The second basic rule of the acceptable use policy is to use resources efficiently. To make efficient use of resources, do not oversubscribe a node and do not undersubscribe a node. Wait a minute, what does that mean anyway? First, let's take a closer look at a node. A node has compute power in the form of CPUs or cores. It has a pool of memory that is shared by all the cores on the node, and it also has a small amount of disk space. You can oversubscribe a node by using too much of any of those things, too much CPU, too much memory, or too much disk. Too much can mean more than requested, more than available, or it can simply mean enough so that you affect other users. For example, you must request the maximum number of cores your program will use then you must request the maximum memory your code will use. If this is no dependent or in any other way variable, you must request the exclusive use of the node with the B sub minus X option. Other examples include stressing the file system. Do not use a significant amount of local disk space when using a compute node unless using the minus X option. And do not frequently generate or manipulate hundreds of small files from the shared file system. You can undersubscribe a node by using too little of any of the resources we talked about. And you do this by requesting too much CPU, too much memory, and you can also do this by running inefficient code. In this case, too much means more than required, such that you are tying up resources unnecessarily resulting in poor utilization and higher queue weights for everyone. For example, if your code only runs in serial, do not request more than one processor. If your code cannot utilize a GPU, do not request a GPU node. Do not request an interactive node unless you actually need to interact with a node. 
and do not leave nodes running idle. This includes reservations of the HPC VCL nodes. Another consideration is about efficiency. For example, if your parallel code only scales well to 32 processors, don't run it on 64 processors. Besides the two basic rules that we just covered, there is a third. Use common sense. The AUP is not written in such a way that it is formal or comprehensive. Use common sense, and even in the case that something is not expressly forbidden, do not violate the spirit of the AUP. Here are some examples. Do not store classified or sensitive data. Do not install proprietary software without a license. Do not do excessive or simultaneous file transfers. Do not grant world read, write, execute privileges to your files. Do not attempt to game the system. Don't submit inaccurate batch scripts to subvert queue limits and don't manipulate files to avoid automatic purges of temporary disk space. Also remember that HPC resources are only to be used for research or instructional purposes. And finally, when in doubt, please email the help desk. That's all for today about the HPC acceptable use policy. Remember, the AUP means play nice with others. Thank you very much and see you next time.